still March 5th with the tennis tournament, F-16, F-18, at the Palm Springs Air Museum. I'm gonna check out the Nighthawk, Tomcat, a few other things out there. All right, looks pretty nice. I think it might be Walt Disney's plane. Yeah, dude, it's Walt Disney's plane, man. One of them, I think. P-51 Mustangs, looks like a DC-3. Get a better shot here. Go back there, so I see this, the Nighthawk right now. Hey, there's your employer, there's your boss's plane, man. Walt Disney. Walt's plane. Boom. I think the tail number is going to say MM on it, maybe, for Mickey Mouse. Let's see. Oh, yeah. MM. Okay. Going to the F-117. Probably be taking off on that plane on Saturday or Friday, you think? It's like an F-15 cockpit. Maybe F-4U Corsair. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's what it is. There's why I can't run for Tomcat. This thing is massive. Open canopy, a couple dummies in there. I'm sure the engines don't exist in this, but who knows. Dude, this thing is way bigger in person than what it looks like from photos. This thing is super tall, man. This thing's like 15 feet tall. Top in a range. Check out the view from the front. This is a huge cockpit, dude. Canopy, I mean. Where'd you see it? Don't know what Iran team platypus is. Anything cool here? Skunk works? Yeah, we saw Plant 42 back, what, in like 2016? Wow, you coyote, you got a roadrunner anywhere. It's really awesome. Scorpions. See, that's why it's called the platypus. It's the rear end sloping from the cockpit. Let's 
This one's crazy. Like we were saying, the beast. This place closed pretty soon, so I can't read everything on four so you gotta take pictures and video. Read it later. It's a bunch of Lockheed Martin crap. A U2, Blackbirds, F-117, YF-22, Ender the Raptor, X-35, now Lightning 2. Skunk Works. out here looks like a 737 cockpit got a f-104 i think a 727 i guess a lack of three engines on it kind of makes it hard to tell don't think that thing's real there's no way that thing's real man sculpture Private jet. I think that's the first private jet ever, man. That Lear jet. That's like the first actual private jet ever with like that one window. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this Lear jet is like the first official private jet ever made, probably 1960 or something like that. Lear jet 24A. 66. Very cool. I think I saw a Phantom 2 back here. F4. There it is. That mobile. Phantom 2. Pretty much as tall. It's the F-14, looks kind of like in the front. The wings obviously not the same. Squirt! Number 8 though, Squirt 8. Squirt 8. It's another massive propeller aircraft carrier based airplane. I guess those wings generate a ton of lift without needing a catapult. Probably buy one of these and fly them for like twenty thousand dollars, but you won't be able to really maintain them for that cheap. Okay, Let's start checking out the hangers. Tomcat from this view looks good as always. DC three looking good from behind. This plane's GQ, man. <laughs> what? Dang, GQ. Cobra. Huey. Here's the Reaper. Barely notice it, kind of blend into the ceiling, like in real life, I guess. In battle, I mean, this is real life, obviously. This is the F4U on your outside was definitely not. Okay, pretty awesome how that Learjet was used in a number of TV and movie productions, obviously since we're in Southern California. Airwolf being my favorite. Didn't know that. Corvette C4, pretty cool. Oh, nice dragnet. Mission Impossible, the Partridge Family, Wise Guy. Oh wow, they actually put on the ground like that. 
Magnum PI, dude. Miami Vice, let's go. The A Team. Obviously, the Jet is very famous. There's Lewis Hamilton with one of his F1 cars. Looks like the 2008 championship year car he's sitting on. Evil Knievel, John Travolta, Paris Hilton, Kiss, Michael Jackson, Jacqueline Kennedy. Pretty awesome. Okay, next hanger up, Mickey Mouse. This guy's employer. Pretty sweet benches out here. Hey, this guy's checking up on his boss's golf stream. Stock at a 52 week high yesterday. Now the thing is, this is a G2. I know they had one on display at Hollywood Studios, backlot tour ride in Orlando, and they moved it out in the back back when they installed a new ride there. And I don't know if this is the same exact G2. It may have had multiple. Hard to believe they'd move this thing across country from Orlando to Palm Springs, but I guess if they really wanted it here, they would. But it had the same tail number, N23 mm, N23 4 mm. Oh yeah. They remain there until they close in 2014. So I guess it is the same one. I don't know, man. I thought there was like video tipped on YouTube a couple years ago. Definitely was not in fly airworthy condition a couple years ago. Same. These are some gigantic models that are super detailed, cross sectioned, cutaway. Looks like a Queen Mary, Cunard. But that's crazy. This has my hand next to that. Yeah, the engine room and everything is like super detailed. Look at a submarine, man. They got a torpedoes cutaway. They got the controls there. The canard kind of thing, so the actual mechanism. It's like the entire bilge and ballast area. Holy crap, this is like a 15 foot model. All scratch built. Dude, that's insane. These models are made by this couple. Pretty impressive stuff, made out of metal. The guy's a welder. G2 from the back. Pretty sweet. Say this is probably my favorite hanger, even better than the F117. We got the B17 P51s, ultimate World War II planes. Awesome, dude. Seventeen propellers are off. All four engines otherwise look intact. Pretty sweet. Looks like they got a bunch of these Nazi souvenirs from the war. Donated by I'm sure veteran families. Pretty nice stuff though. Women in aviation.
execution. Space flight. tail side off of it. B-25. A few of these still fine air shows, definitely cool to see in flight. Very few of these are still flying. Unfortunately, the Texas Raiders plane was lost. Just notice it looks like they have a second V-17, pretty insane. Wow. This place is awesome. It's a B-29 cockpit. This one's got propellers. It looks like it's probably not being flown. Tires are flat, unfortunately. Still awesome, it's not flying. B-29. Saw one of these fly Fifi in Birmingham, Alabama. 2016 went inside the cockpit on the ground. Got a restaurant under the wing, runs in the Concorde at the Intrepid Air and Space Museum in Manhattan. I don't know, kind of sad that's relegated to restaurant attraction. F 16 cockpit, Star Wars thing. This is awesome, man. So you can come back here and chill. Really up close. Looks like you're missing the glass cover on the back part there. Still cool. or plastic which either appears as a cluster mm. of primary targets on Super radar tight screens fit. or as that looks to what he is really miserable. seeing. How when the Chap heck do these people do this? Combat to full enemy anti-aircraft artillery from the dampness of England, they would freeze at the high altitudes and hard block a code name given by the British as they would eject it from the window of the air Under the wing, all polished by hand. I don't know how many volunteer hours that took, thousands. Looks good though. Job well done. You can see me in the reflection. Is that a Packard? Studebaker. Dictator. Pretty sweet cutaway model. Hard to notice because you have the real deal right next to it, so you didn't really notice it until the very end. Still awesome. Finishing up the B-17 hangers. I think this is going to be the airworthy one. I have to look it up. But everything in this hangar looks airworthy, unlike the other one. The layout, everything's got space to be rolled out. DC-3. Maintenance area, not allowed to go back here, but let's see what they got. 
nice. Looks like an F-15 cockpit. Uh, no, I don't know. Yeah, I think it might be an F-15. Huey. Got that boat plane. The boat. All right, well, that's all of it. Definitely worth it. Probably better than a tennis tournament, in my opinion. Hard to beat a Tomcat, F-117, B-17s, and P-50s. Check it out, it's worth the 20 bucks or so. See you later, Walt. That wraps up our day. So we're doing round one tennis tomorrow, and then round one again Thursday, and then heading out.